Hey guys, thanks for joining me, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Hello peoples, welcome to Sharp Ends. Thank you for joining me today. I've got a very cool knife review. This is the CJRB um, Hectar. Uh, I think it comes in at $60, but the price will come up if I am wrong. Uh, it's made of AR RPM 9, which is like a CPM version of D2. It's made in China. Our, our, our CGRB is Artisan Cutlery's budget brand. The shape of this blade is almost like a leaf shape to it. Uh, it's very nice for poking. Um, it's uh, okay for utility cuts. Um, I found that I use this a lot in a lot of different scenarios, kind of as a beat up banger knife. Uh, and it worked just fine for that. The finger choil, the finger, the choke up point on this is really nice. The finger choil is very nice. And there's some nice jimping here. This is a bar lock. It's been often been called or referred to as kind of like a budget bo uh, bench made um, bug out. And uh, I can see that it definitely is a bazillion times cheaper. And I would argue that uh, the steel is, you know, fine, absolutely fine for what it is. Um, there's a world of difference between regular D2 and CPM D2, and I like this a lot. Um, you know, the only thing that would have made it better is if it had been made out of 14C28N. This is peel ply. It comes in a lot of different colors. Yellow's not your, your flavor. Uh, there's a link down below. If you use any of the links to Amazon, it does help out the channel. I like their lanyard hole is kind of hidden. It's back there. It's not too obtrusive. It's fine. This wire clip is fine. It's not the worst wire clip I've ever seen in the world. And there's no landing pad as far as like a flat spot. But this uh, peel ply isn't too aggressive. So it's not going to be a big pain in the butt for you. There are two different sizes of hardware. I believe it's like uh, T9 and T7 or T9 and T8. That's kind of a pain. And then I think even that is like T6, so maybe three different types of hardware. I did a disassembly and maintenance video of it earlier in the week. You can go over there and take a look at the insides of this. Uh, there was a, a, a crazy amount of Loctite in the pivot. Uh, it wasn't hard to unscrew them, but what happened is that, that um, these screws both go in, into a uh, into like a barrel. And that barrel had, had because of all the Loctite, had welded itself to the inside liners. Uh, and so for a while there, I was wondering what the heck was going on. Eventually, I was able to force it out, figure out what was going on, um, and like that. Uh, fairly easy to take apart, but for a minute there, I was frustrated until I realized what was going on. Uh, the action on is really good. Now, nine times out of ten, the way that I'm opening this is I'm actually using the lock bar access to pull back and do a little fist uh, wrist flick to 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 get it open okay now why am i doing that well one of the reasons is because the access to this hole isn't that great because this choil here has this little mountain there that goes right into the middle of the hole if they had put that back there or just made it flat so that it didn't cross the threshold of that opening hole it would have been easier now having said that i can open it just fine um mainly with finger flicking and a little bit with thumb flicking too. It's fine, but it's really just easy to do this. I will also say that this is working a bazillion times better now that I've taken it apart and maintained it and oiled it with some proper oil. Uh, it's just, it's like flying out of there. Before it was a little bit, like the detent was a little hard. Now it's like a nice medium detent, very nice and smooth. Um, I did not oil the lock. You never oil access lock. Uh, the springs are fine. It is very well uh, milled out in there. I assume that's just steel liners in there over G10. The balance is a little butt heavy for where the finger choil is, but not absurdly. It's really close. Yeah, it's like on the back side. It's like right here is where the balance point is. So I kind of want it to be there, but not the end of the world. Uh, choking up on it is very nice. It's kind of a great little utility knife too. Um, like I said, it's the kind of knife that at the price point, you know that you can use this and you can use it roughly. Do what you need to do. And I have used this roughly. Uh, and it has absolutely not failed at all in any respect. Bar locks are very safe too for spine wax. It's never going to break. Um, and uh, yeah, the, uh, another little knock is it's not quite centered. I tried to recenter it in the maintenance video, but I couldn't get it to, to sit right. If I was really, I'm sure that I could get it if I really was that anal about it, 
but it it's only off a fraction and and it's not something that really bothers me in a budget knife to be off by that much overall i think that this has some shortcomings number one different size hardware which is excusable uh the metal wish it was 14c but you know arp uh, AR RPM 9, I've never had a problem with. CGRB uses it almost exclusively for their budget knives, and I found it to be absolutely fine. Um, and the access to the hole is blocked by the ergonomics. The ergos themselves are fine, though. I really like the blade shape. Um, I like the way it feels. Uh, I like the price point. I absolutely love the way that the that, that, that these the bar lock itself is rounded so nicely. Um, and, uh, uh, and overall, you know, the, the construction of it is absolutely fine for what it is. Also, it, it is reversible clip. So lefties can get this as well, which I think is great. Sometimes budget knives don't have the option for a lefty. And I think that's just stupid. That means that 10% of your customer base isn't going to buy your knife. And that seems ridiculous to me. Uh, so overall, I think this is a good knife. Nice, solid choice. If you are interested in getting into bar locks and you don't want to get a bug out and uh, a lot of bar locks are more expensive this is absolutely the way to go i think it's an entry level bar lock that is absolutely fine to try out thanks so much for joining me today guys if you would like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it you can also go down below and follow the link to become a patreon member for three dollars a month you can support this channel and be entered to win three uh, a knife of the month Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time on Sharp Ends. Bye-bye now.